Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the structural and functional differences between skeletal, cardiac and involuntary muscle. Now this video is only for OCR students, and in this video I'll be giving you a very broad overview of the three different types of muscle. In the next video, I'll be looking in detail at the microscopic structure of skeletal muscle, and that video is for both OCR and AQA students. Now the first key idea is that mammals contain three types of muscle tissue. These are called skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, and involuntary or smooth muscle. Skeletal muscles are attached to the skeleton via tendons and are used in conscious or voluntary movement. Skeletal muscle consists of fibres. These fibres are formed by individual muscle cells fusing or joining together. This means that the fibres are shaped like long tubes, and each fibre contains a number of nuclei. The fibres have a striped or striated appearance and are arranged in a regular pattern. This means that during contraction, all the fibres contract in the same direction. Now, skeletal muscles can contract rapidly, but they do not stay contracted for a long period. OK, now cardiac muscle is found only in the heart and is under involuntary control. Cardiac muscle cells are branched and are connected to each other at the ends. This allows them to contract together. Each cardiac muscle cell usually has only one nucleus. Now, cardiac muscle cells form fibres with a striped or striated appearance, but these striations are fainter than in skeletal muscles. Cardiac muscle cells contract without the need for a nervous signal. Scientists say that they're myogenic. OK, now involuntary or smooth muscle is found all over the body, for example in the walls of blood vessels. We also find involuntary muscle in the walls of the intestines. Contraction of this involuntary muscle moves digested material along the digestive system, and scientists call this process peristalsis. Now, involuntary muscle is not under voluntary control, and unlike skeletal and cardiac muscle, involuntary muscle is not striated. Involuntary muscle cells usually have a single nucleus, and involuntary muscle cells are also arranged in a much less regular way than skeletal or cardiac muscle cells. This means that involuntary muscle cells do not all contract in the same direction. Unlike skeletal and cardiac muscle, involuntary muscle contracts slowly but can contract for a relatively long time. In the next video, we look in detail at the microscopic structure of skeletal muscle.